Hi, I'm Naohiro Takaku from JCB Mumbai office. JCB is a global payment network headquartered in Japan, and we are very successfully utilizing big data in Japan. So today I'll talk about how JCB is transforming payment data into business. First, let me talk a bit about JCB. One of our business fields is a global payment business. We license JCB brand to the financial institutions globally and facilitate the issuance of JCB cards as well as acquiring of JCB brands. In India, we tie up with NPCI since 2015 and as of today, there are about uh, seven issuers uh, issuing Rupee JCB global cards. In Japan, on top of the license business, we do the direct issuing and acquiring business. We issue JCB cards to consumers directly and we by ourselves acquire JCB merchants in Japan. And this is where we obtain massive amount of data. Since we do the business directly in Japan, we hold card member agreements and merchant agreements. And of course, our card members are constantly making transactions by their JCB cards at JCB merchants. In this cycle, we obtain massive amount of card member data, merchant data, and payment data. For example, age, gender, or residential area of card member, or uh, the business categories or business size of merchants, and of course, all the details about transactions made by our card members. In the past, we used to utilize this data in a very limited way, such as marketing purpose for our own issuing business and also marketing support service to our merchants uh, in which uh, we send out DM to the right segment of the card members on behalf of the merchants. But as the word big data has a keyword or the trend of society, we decided to expand the usage of our payment data. And uh, what we did in the first place was that the re-evaluation of our data to find out what is the real value of it. First, we believe that uh, the value of our data lies in its volume. We have massive amount of data and we came to think that uh, it is big enough to grasp not only the card payment world, but also the entire consumption trend of Japan. Second, it's speed. It comes very fast. Basically, transactions are online. So we get the data the moment our card member makes make a transaction. And third point is comprehensiveness. JCB is the single acquirer of JCB brand in Japan, which means nobody else can acquire uh, JCB merchants in Japan. So uh, we have agreements with all the merchants in Japan. So wherever our card member make a transaction or whatever the merchant it is, uh, we have the data of the merchants. This brings a huge, great deal of comprehensiveness to our payment data because we pick, pick up any payment data and that data comes with the complete merchant information without an exception. With these characteristics, we came to realize that uh, we can do a lot more than just utilizing it for marketing purpose. And this is where um, we, came, uh, we uh, came up with the concept of JCB consumption now. JCB Consumption Now is a whole new index of consumption trend for the entire Japan uh, based on our payment data. We launched this service in 2017. And here's what we do in this service. First, we choose 1 million card members randomly we, and we anonymize the data. And the, based on the transaction data of those 1 million card members, totaling around 80 billion JPY or uh, 57 billion INR. We come up with the consumption index for the entire Japan. And this is not only for the you know, card payment consumption. This is the entire Japan's consumption index, including all modes of payment such as cash. And we provide this index as well as the detailed data uh, via online on the membership basis.
And this is where we make money uh, out of it. And of course, our you know, uh, members can access to this database, database at any time, and they can very flexibly you know, customize the data. And our targets uh, include such as economists or analysis or central or local governments or marketing departments of any uh, companies. And we are providing this service in a partnership with Nowcast. Nowcast is a leading company in Japan and in, in the field of big data, especially alternative data, which uh, comes from uh, payment. We provide and manage payment data and Nowcast processes it in a statistical way. And uh, we believe this service is one of its kind in Japan, thanks to its outstanding strength. And those strengths lie in accuracy, speed, frequency, and variety. First, accuracy. So we're making the entire Japan's consumption index based on our card payment data. So the question you may have in your mind is that uh, how accurate you would be. We are benchmarking uh, Japan's one of the most reliable consumption index, which is uh, Consumption Activity Index by Bank of Japan. And our index from JCB Consumption Now has been showing a, a high correlation with the index by Bank of Japan. So we believe that uh, our index is a reflection of the true, true nature of uh, Japanese consumption trend. And second, uh, speed and frequency. JCB Consumption Now is the earliest way to get the consumption index in Japan. With classic type of consumption index, it usually comes after one month. So November's index, uh, you get it sometime in January. And uh, it might be the case that the, by the time you get this index, the situation of economy may have been changed. And all you can do with this index is to know what has happened in the past. But uh, with JCB consumption now, it comes in 15 days. So November's index, you get it sometime around 15th, 15th of December. So with JCB consumption now, you grasp the current status of the economy. And this is why we named the service as JCB consumption now. And third point is uh, variety. Leveraging the huge range, uh, wide range of our merchant data, uh, we are providing not only the entire Japan's consumption index, but also the index, consumption index for the 39 business categories. For example, the entertainment is one of the uh, categories that we provide the index for, but we further break it down to uh, something like movie theater or amusement park. So JCB consumption now provides uh, not only the entire Japan's uh, consumption index, but also the detailed segment-wise segment consumption index, which is meeting the various needs and demands of our customers. So these strengths uh, make our service one of its kind in Japan. And we believe that uh, JCB consumption now is the best way to know the uh, consumption trend of Japan. And this is the reason why the service is you know, widely uh, appreciated in Japan. And these are some of the recent references to the service. So it's by Bank of Japan or Cabinet Office. Basically, Japanese government is referring to the service. And there were various media reports and articles. As the awareness uh, to the big data increases, we feel that we're getting uh, more popularity in the market. Now let's briefly turn our eyes to what we are actually providing through this service. This is the change of this year's total consumption uh, index uh, against 2018 and the number of new COVID infections in Japan. And I'm using the 2018 figure as a comparison <clears throat> because uh, there was an unusual consumption movement last year, 2019, due to the increase of consumption tax. So uh, clearly in the COVID time, the consumption level goes down 
and especially during the state of emergency where uh, which, which was in uh, April to May, uh, basically government was asking people not to go out unless it is uh, really necessary. And uh, consumption level gradually uh, recovering toward October. And uh, JCB consumption now can add some more layers to this kind of data. The added two lines are category-wise consumption index. Green one is uh, index for goods, and black one is index for service. Um, clearly, service sector are you know, being hit by COVID worse, while, while the goods sector is doing still OK, because uh, in Japan, most of the stay-home consumption, such as EC, uh, belongs to this uh, goods sector. Let's further uh, go into the categories uh, of the consumption. This is the change of consumption index uh, for the categories, detailed categories, categories of electrical appliances, furniture, and EC. So these sectors are doing even better in the COVID uh, time. And this is, these are the so-called stay-home consumption. On the other hand, these uh, added three lines are the uh, category-wise consumption index for uh, travel, food service, transportation. And as we all know, these sectors are hit very severely uh, by COVID. So they are doing you know, very bad uh, in the last you know, uh, six months. But the travel is recovering toward October. And this is uh, because of the government's stimulus policy to give out a subsidy uh, to consumers when they travel. Let's further dig into the data. Uh, th this is the 2019 age-wise EC consumption, and it is a change against previous year. So basically before COVID, EC consumption growth was happening mainly at younger generation. And while uh, we are having some negative growth in older generation, and so what happened to this? Is the same trend continuing or uh, something else. Here's what happened. After COVID, EC consumption growth is happening across the age group. So uh, even our grandparents are buying more stuff on EC. And digitalization of uh, EC consumption is happening at older age generation, older generation. And this could be a great insight uh, for those people, for example, uh, who try to come up with you know marketing plan for EC, and sometimes gender becomes a factor in having a different kind of uh, consumption behavior, and uh, this is the gender-wise consumption index uh, for bars. And again, it's a change against the you know uh, past years. Blue line is for male, red line is for female, and clearly you know, bar consumption level goes down because less people would go out for the drinking purpose. But here, there is a slight difference between the genders. Um, female index dropped more than male's index. So there might be a trend that uh, female are more reluctant to you know, go out for, uh, for the you know, drinking purpose. On the other hand, this is the uh, same index uh, for liquor shops. Liquor shops index were doing better in the COVID time. Uh, this is because people tend to prefer uh, buying alcohol at liquor shops and consume it at home. And here again, there is a slight difference between uh, female and male, whereby females' uh, figure increased more than male. So we could maybe able to say that uh, a trend of switching from bars to liquor shop was stronger in female group. And this could be a slight difference between uh, two different genders, but uh, this kind of difference can tell us a lot about how a different segment of consumers would react to a certain, certain situation such as COVID. And uh, these were the only few examples of what JCB consumption now can provide, and it has unlimited ways of utilization as per uh, customers' need and uh, necessities. So we think that the importance of big data utilization is increasing day by day, and the field has many opportunities 
for payment players especially. And to JCB, it was quite important uh, to understand what is the real value of our data and how we can customize it so that uh, you know, we can meet the various needs and demands of the markets. I hope this presentation has given some uh, insight to the topic. Thank you.